Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Prince and Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES. You know, let's let's just touch briefly on what we talked about yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that we were outside of the Bollinger Bands, and that that situation. You know, after being outside of the Bollinger Bands for a couple of days, that situation tends to correct itself, and that's what happened yesterday. We made the highs up at 1438.75 on the close on Friday. About 1015 yesterday, they tried to take it up and match the highs. And they could only do 1438. So essentially what happened was they tried to top it out and you really um you know, you, you had a great you had a great entry up there if if you if you took my advice from yesterday's webcast. And, and wanted to get short there with a risk marker up at 1438.75. And, you know, we went down last night and we traded, as, uh, you know, down into that 1423 area that I talked about, which were those triple pivots. So finally, you know, as we got into the 2 o'clock hour Eastern time yesterday, really everybody that bought so high last week, I think, really started to ask themselves, you know, we're not going to make another leg up at this point. I've got to take some profits. And when that starts to happen, when everybody starts to jump off that bus, it starts to cascade lower. And where do we find ourselves now? We find ourselves back inside the Bollinger Bands. Okay, where do we go from here? Well, a couple things. What we're seeing now is we have to see if the upper band here wants to be resistance. If it does, then we maybe look at testing the middle band okay everything is really up in the air because of what's going on in Europe on on Thursday and let's let's jump on to a 15 minute chart here's a 15 minute of the ES and here you see the cascade from 2 o'clock yesterday and it continued to deteriorate overnight and we get into Europe open right here, you know, at three or four o'clock hour, and Europe, for whatever reason, bought it. So Europe thinks it's worth buying on the dip, and over here, we think it's worth selling the rip. So now you're seeing kind of a divergence in philosophy. So one of the things I'm going to be watching today is how that plays out. Do we make another lower high, say here at 1432, maybe a little higher, and go out and take out that 1422 low and test this double pivot area down here at 1419.75? The 9 and 20 day pivots are locked up here at 1975. Do we go down and touch that? If we start to um, deteriorate, this would be a logical place to go. If we really start to deteriorate, and this is more of a target for later in the week. I'm really looking at the 50% retracement of the uh, of the total move from uh, 13.49 quarter up to 14.38.79, which lands right at 13.94. And 13.93 was so critical the last couple of weeks. And if we don't get what we want out of Europe on Thursday, as this QE3 talk starts to wear off, if we start to build momentum to the downside and you're looking for a longer term downside target, 1393 would be where I'm looking. But, you know, that's a little longer term. Focused on today, can we take out 1438.75? Is this area here going to be another lower high? If it is, do we break below 1422? Do we take out 1419? Those are the key areas that I'm looking at today. Okay, so everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader uh, for Mr. Top Step. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.